Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. Today, I'm talking about what's new in Google Photos. I mean, there's new stuff all the time, so I try to do this a couple times a year. There are more things that I'm going to talk about, but I've picked some of my my favorite. The first thing to know is that I do try to keep up with all the changes and you can find them on the page geeksontour.com GP Google Photos updates and whenever I learn of a new update to Google Photos I put the date, the chapter of my book that's affected and some information about it. So if you want to see all the things that are new, go here and look it over. For today, I'm going to be showing, I think, about six different things. Starting with a new type of album called My Week. Now, it's nothing really different. It's, it's just an album, but it's a bit of a special album in that it will appear at the top left of your Google Photos screen along with those memories. And then you can share it with friends and family. You can share any album with friends and family, but as I say, this one that will then appear at the top left of their screens. And you are encouraged. It kind of prompts you to add more photos. So your week gets filled out. And in the end, it kind of makes it like a private Facebook for just you and the people you shared with. You won't have it unless you have somebody else who already has it. They send you an invite to theirs. And then in a day or two, you will get a prompt to say, do you want to make your own? And here's what it looks like. And it's up at the top. So this, this is my Google Photos. At the top, you have this memory carousel. And the very first one is the My Week. It has your little face and a plus. I tap on it and it works like all the other memories and just goes through a little slideshow. But if you then tap in the lower left-hand corner where the date is, then you see it arranged by week. So I see that I don't have anything for this week yet, and I didn't add more than two pictures to this week back here. So I kind of like that. I consider it like a journal. So that is my week. And if you would like an invite, you can find one. If you are a Geeks on Tour website member, you go to that GP Updates page, the part about my week, there's a link where you can get your own invite. So that is my week. Next, a menu change. <laughs> <sighs> they keep moving our cheese. If you look at your Google Photos, you're probably accustomed to seeing a tab at the bottom called library. Well, on mine anyway, now it no longer says library, it says collections. I actually kind of kind of like this one, this change, except for, you know, not being able to find anything for a little bit. It puts albums and people groupings and places all under collections where people used to be under search now it's under collections and if you don't have that you know just wait this is one that is rolling out there's nothing you need to do and they might even change their mind and not do it at all but my phone now says collections and i have to get used to it now here is a fun one magic editor it can do erasing just like Magic Eraser, but it can do so much more. I'm going to show you some examples of using Magic Editor. I know I'm short, but this picture makes me look like a toy. So you tap on the edit. I am going to use the Magic Editor. That's this green, blue, purple, it keeps changing button right there. And I can just tap on me. Notice how I get highlighted. I could erase me, but no, that's not what I want to do. So I tap and hold, and now I can do other, I can move me around, or with two fingers, I can make me 
bigger. Eh, that might be a little bit too much. <laughs> and then it's the right arrow that says, okay, make that so. That's more like it. Uh, it does give me some other choices to see if it did it better in a second try, but that one's fine. I tap the check mark and save copy. For this picture, I think we should be closer together. Edit, Magic Editor. I'll tap on Jim. Oops, that just got his hand. So I need to refine the selection and add there. Now I can touch and hold. No, I have to say done now that I've added more area. I don't want to erase him. Touch and hold and move him over. And do it. I like it. I tap check mark and save a copy. For this one, I want the horse on the hill to be bigger. Edit. Magic Editor. Tap the horse, touch and hold, and then this can be really tricky. I need to get two fingers on that horse in order to make it bigger. There, I got it. It can be done, and that's good. I say do it, but Magic Editor can do more. Notice that after I tap the check mark, I still have the Magic Editor button. So that's saying there's more that it could do with this. It can make adjustments to the sky. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Or that one, or that one. So it gives me a few, and I can even tap to get more results, but I like that one. Check mark, save a copy. And I've saved the coolest one for last. This is a picture of a banyan tree in my neighborhood that I just think is special. Magic Editor. And I don't want to move anything around, so I'm going to tap Magic Editor again. And notice how it offers me stylized. What is that? It turns it into a work of art with several different choices. Wow. And I could even get more choices. Oh, I like that one. With It turned that one hard root into a little waterfall. So I'll check mark and save a copy. Play around with Magic Editor. It's fun. And it's free. And it's on all mobile devices. So, so give it a shot. Now, it used to be that you had to be a Google One, it, and before that, you had to have a Pixel. All that's gone. It is available. If you don't have it, it might still be rolling out, but it's been rolling out for a while. You should have it. So that was Magic Editor. The next new thing is Markup on the web. You know, Magic Editor, Magic Eraser are only available on mobile. But we did just get one new thing on the web version. If you go into edit, there is now a button at the far right for markup. Now, unfortunately, I don't see any text options yet. You have to just use the pen and draw what you want. <laughs> but if you're better at that than I am, you can still get some stuff done. So that is markup on the web editor. I want to know how many photos I have. And this has been something that you could not do in Google Photos. And I just noticed the other day that if you tap on your face in the upper right hand corner and then back up right underneath where it says your backup is complete, it will give the number of pictures. It can take a minute to show up. So if you go there and you don't see it right away, just wait. So I see that I have 106,192 images in my Google Photos account. AI Photos is something that is coming. I have not seen it yet. It is a 
AI asking about your photos. When it comes, it will be that little sparkle at the right side of a search box. And then transfers to iCloud. If you want to move from Google to iCloud, you now can. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And all the instructions are in this geeksontour.com slash GP updates, including if you want an invite to that my week, you can do it. And that is my list of new things in Google Photos.